bottles of bubbles Girls with tattoos who like getting in trouble Lashes and diamonds, ATM machines Hey guys, so hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I've been gone for like a year. I'm super, super, super sorry about that. It won't happen again, trust me. I was going through a time last year, so I know how I just began my YouTube channel and I had to cut it short, but I'm back. And I want to surprise you guys with a new makeup tutorial. I have plenty of more videos to come for you guys. To all my subscribers this was something very last minute it took me about 35 minutes and um thank you guys for watching and thanks for the subscribers that i still have i know i've been gone for a year and you're still here so i'm really excited about that so thank you thank you thank you so much this is a lace front wig that i made this is me lisa here my lisa here um Details will be in the description box and I will have a video on how I made this wig. And um, I will link everything that I use for this makeup tutorial. So thank you guys so much. Love you. Bye. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to take this NYX Angel Veil Primer and I'm just going to put a couple dabs on my face. Mix that around. Don't mind the little dancing that's going on. You'll remember that mirror from my previous videos. I know I need a new one. <laughs> it's been a year and I still haven't got one. Okay, so first I'm gonna prime my face and do my eyebrows. I'm just taking a regular uh, beauty supply pencil and I'm doing my eyebrows. Yes, I know they look a little thick and stuff right now, but that's just the beginning. They will not look like that towards the end, I promise. <laughs> just taking a spoolie and I'm brushing that out towards the inner corners of my nose, should I say, whatever it's called. I'm going to quickly do the other side. I tried to speed the video up a little bit, so that's why it's so short and only like 11 seconds, so, I mean, 11 minutes, so yeah. Okay, after I do that, I'm going to go in with the Fawn LA Girl Pro Concealer, and I'm taking my Morphe that brush I think it's the M32 brush and I am just going to clean and sharpen those eyebrows because lord they need it <laughs> mind you these are not products that I use on an everyday basis these are just something that I quickly grabbed a primer a concealer, a foundation, and I just went for what I want to know because this was so last minute. Quickly, just wanted to rush and do it really fast. These are not products that I use every day, trust me. If you guys want the products that I use every day, I can do a makeup tutorial on that. So I'm just taking that concealer and I'm bringing it down um, on my eyelids. I can use that as a base for my eyebrows, for my eyes, I mean. Don't mind a little dancing, I do that. <laughs> Let's clean up the other side using the same thing. You're gonna see a, a part in this video where it's gonna skip once I'm done with like my foundation, I believe. And I'm just gonna skip and put on my eyeliner. And then you're going to see another part where I'm going to skip and put on my lashes. That's the only thing I did. You did not miss anything. Um, I did one side of my eye with the eyeshadow. And then I skipped the other part since I showed you guys the basic steps for the first eye. And I'm going in with my Morphe 35O palette, I think. No, 35B palette. Very colorful. I don't use this on every day, only in summertime, and we're in winter still, so you know, I just it's at the bottom of the bag, so I just grabbed it. Going with a blending brush from Morphe. This brush didn't have a number, I know it came in a set though, so I don't know what's called. I'm going in with that red, and I'm going to get that above my crease and a little inside my crease. 
I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. This is just a quick everyday, not even everyday, just a quick little something to do, night out or something like that, very quick. I'm telling you, I did this in under 35 minutes and I was able to cut the video short to like 11 minutes. Now I'm going in with some orange. And back with the red. Skip that, and I'm just gonna start adding some black inside my crease to dark, kind of darken it up, give it a little smoky type feel in the corners. Then we'll dab the other side, and you're gonna see me go in with the tart. I think tan sand concealer. I normally don't even use it, but whatever, I used it today. And I'm just gonna not do a cut crease, but I'm just gonna like cut some of the lid off so I can use a bright white color and it's the part where I think it's going to skip I had messed up guys on the first one so I had to kind of fix it. Took me a minute but I got it. And I just went in with that black uh, eyeshadow and kind of cleaned it up. This is when it's going to skip and I'm going to have my eyeliner on. I use a pencil eyeliner for this guy. I don't use pencil eyeliner since like I haven't used a pencil eyeliner since like the eighth grade. <laughs> I normally use like liquid, but that's the only thing that I've seen, so I grabbed it. I'm mixing the NYX foundation with Maybelline foundation with Makeup Forever foundation. I know that's a lot of foundation. It turned out coming out a little dark to me, so that's why I went heavy on the concealer highlight. I'm using a beauty sponge to blend this all out. I used to use a uh, Morphe brush, but I'm just trying something different, really quick, and a brush. Put it all over my face, put it in my mouth. I'm going in with the full concealer under my eyes, bridge of my nose, chin, and forehead, just a little. Gonna blend that out with the beauty sponge. The same thing for the other side. And I'm gonna go in with that tart tan fan and put that a little around my cheeks under my eyes to have a brighter highlight under there because I love the bright highlight. And I felt like this foundation was a little too dark for my skin. Blend that out. I'm gonna use the uh, Black Radiance True Complexion, I think. Uh, bronzer and bronze in my eyes. And I'm gonna go in with the Black Opal um, Loose Powder to set that concealer in my eyes and around my face. That's a uh, real techniques brush and the contour brush that we submit to bronze. Okay, I'm gonna skip this part is gonna skip and I think I'm gonna have like my lashes and stuff on. And nope, I'm gonna have the black opal powder under my eyes. I'm gonna start with the lip liner and it's the regular uh, brown lip pencil from the beauty supply store, your nearest beauty supply store. And I'm just going to line my lips and I'm going to go in with the, I think it's called Ruby Kisses. I'm not for sure. I'll have to look. Ruby Kisses or like Mika K. It's the dark, dark, dark brown matte lip stick. And um, 
it's like a go-to something I use a lot. I love the color. And yes, I overlined my lips. See, my lips are really tiny. So I overlined them like heavy. I'm gonna dust that powder off with a Morphe um, foundation brush, actually. That's my favorite Morphe foundation brush, and I guess that's the closest one that I've seen to you, so I just used it. Went back in with another Morphe brush just to bronze up a little more. Now I have my lashes on. And now I'm going to take off my scarf and fix my wig. This is a lace kernel wig I made. And this is the end of the video, guys. I love you so much. Thank you for still supporting me. And thanks for the subscribers that I still have. I'm so thankful for you. I know that I've been gone. And I'm really appreciative that you're still around. Trust me, more videos to come. Details on this wig, on this makeup that I use, and more videos are coming soon, I promise. And I have a vlog because I have a special surprise for you guys. It's going to be really soon. Thank you. Love you. Bye.